Saturday will feature strong to violent tornadoes across Mississippi and Alabama. A rare high risk of severe weather has been issued. Look at all the rotation tracks. Many tornadoes will occur. Get in the mindset of treating this like you would April 27, 2011. Here's what you need to do now before the storms happen. On days like tomorrow, the only true safe space is below ground. Clean your storm cellar now. Get the cobwebs and the spiders out. Make it so you won't hesitate to go there if need be. If you don't have a storm cellar, figure out where you'll shelter in severe weather. Your next option, a basement. Under a staircase is also a good bet. As a last resort, a bathroom on the lowest floor could work too. Bathrooms have lots of plumbing in the wall to help anchor them to the foundation. On a day like Saturday, a mobile home simply will not suffice. This was a mobile home in Nieces, South Carolina that was hit in 2020. Two people died here. The deck is left standing, but the mobile home is gone. That's how structurally unsound they are. You need to be within five minutes of a shelter all day and all night tomorrow. If that means packing up the kids and spending the evening at grandma's house, so be it. Once you've identified a shelter, it's time to build a shelter bag. Fill it with snacks, water, a flashlight, a phone charger, and maybe a board game or some form of entertainment. Some other things you should plan to do tomorrow too. Wear closed-toed shoes. In the unlikely event a tornado hits, you'll be climbing through debris. Pack a whistle in your shelter bag too. Once again, if you find yourself in need of help, you'll have a way to communicate with first responders. It's louder and more effective than yelling. If a tornado warning is issued and you have, say, 30 seconds, go grab the bike helmets. Most tornado casualties stem from head injuries. You can also use a mattress or pillows to protect against any falling debris.